Dude, I, I just put the box down. Really? Hey guys, I am back. Battle Box Day. Yay, Battle Box! Woo! Okay, so Battle Box. Big box. Um, a little bit of weight to it. Here's some stuff rattling around. All right, so uh, I just got Barrel and Blade. I'm still editing that video. We've got Smoky Mountain Knife Works sitting there, over there. Um, it's going to be a lot of unboxings, but Off Grid, I have four new knives from Off Grid that I have to uh, get to also. It's going to be a busy, busy week, but let's get into this battle box. Let's see what we've got for May 2020. Uh, as I'm doing this, let me take the opportunity now to say we're getting close to getting that second knife for the next giveaway. Um, there's a referral code in the video description. Um, somebody recently told me they used it and they didn't. They weren't happy with the battle box, but they, you know, were happy to help out anyway. I appreciate it. Um, listen, guys, I'm not trying to sell you battle box. If you like what you see in battle box, um, great. If you don't, don't use the code. But um, if you use the referral code that you see in the video description, you can save yourself a little bit of money. You can get me some battle box points because I'm trying to get the, um, where you already saw the video with the Chris Reeves Sabenza. Now I'm trying to get a cool ZT that we can use for the next uh, giveaway, you know, big prize. Um, you'll see it when you see it. But anyway, let's take a look what we've got here in, oh my God, does anybody ever read these cards? I don't, but mission 63, we've got the pro plus box. So that means we've got everything in the basic, everything in the advanced, everything in the pro and then knife of the month. It's a Willemson. Um, so Willem, Willemson, great knife designer, makes great knives. Let me get everything sorted out and then we will go through it all. I've got everything separated out. Um, we have some, some save you money codes here. So we're gonna take a look at the Cat Tongue Grip. Uh, I think it's a universal mag carrier. Or no, this is the universal mag carrier. Cat tongue grips. Oh, that's the non-abrasive grip tape, which we'll take a look at shortly. So we've got the 20% off code for the universal mag carrier and the cat tongue grip tape. Say 40%. Okay. Um, another word just before we start. Um, again, you're gonna see MSRP values. Okay, a lot of people are really good. Hi, Peter Kitty Cat. A lot of people are really good at finding things that are in this box for less money than the MSRP. Remember, that's just what the manufacturer says they can charge. It doesn't mean that's what you're gonna find it for. You could find it for less, or sometimes more. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at everything, starting with the basic box and working our way down. First, we've got the Pitbull Tactical Universal Mag Carrier which has an MSRP of $24.99. Now that's pretty funny because Barrel and Blade just gave us a little magazine carrier. Um, I guess I gotta get a magazine again. So here we go. Universal mag kit, come on. All right. It's small. It's rigid as opposed to the one we just got in Barrel and Blade. So this just came freshly out of a Glock 19. And there we go. Oh, wow, well the one that Barrel and Blade came did not do that. I meant the one that came in Barrel and Blade, obviously. Now, of course, if you're wearing this correctly, it's going to be clipped in. Um, and it shouldn't be upside down, but looks like we've got, so it's not spring. These are like rubber bands that are holding it in. Um, and it expands and it holds. The one that, the other one, well, you'll see the barrel. I'm not going to compare it. Um, $24.99, but I am going to compare the price on the barrel and blade one, which held the mag much more securely if you're jostling around or whatever, was like $15.99. Um, and it was also kind of universal. Um, this one's very rigid. I guess, I don't know if I'd want this on the inside of my waistband because it's so rigid. I might put it on a belt. Um, but I'm gonna put this one in meh, especially cause I'm comparing it when you see that if, if whichever video is up first, Barrel and Blade, I think gave us a nicer, um, especially for concealed carry, softer, easier going um, magazine holder. So it's interesting that they both give us the same thing. 
I'm gonna put this one in matte. I don't know if, if you guys have, you know, used this in real life, um, but I definitely prefer the one that came in barrel. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, I do like the way, you know, the functionality is very simple, but you know, if you're on the move, if you're running, if you're, I, I mean, I don't want to, there we go. Yeah. I mean, yes, it's got use, but meh for the, not as functional as other stuff. So moving on next, Breakthrough Clean Battleborn HP Pro Lubricant and Protectant. Right here, um, we just, again, a barrel and blade. We got a uh, Breakthrough Knife Lube that I have been using, and it has been amazing. Breakthrough makes good quality products. Trying to get this out, there we go. Uh, really good quality products. Now, this is not a specific, this has a little viscosity to it too, which is, you can see. I like any any kind of um, breakthrough stuff. It's lubricant and protectant, which is kind of just like the breakthrough knife lube we got. Um, odorless, which is good. It's 100% synthetic. This made you know to go with a firearm. Also, uh, temperature resistant, rust and corrosion protection, uh, won't come up, water and steam resistant. So. We'll probably honestly see a video of this and the knife lube um, from Breakthrough in another video. I'm going to put this one in like it though. What's the MSRP? $12.95, um, two fluid ounces. The other one was one fluid ounce, I think, but it's, you know, a, a good uh, CLP type. I say CLP because that's the military old, you know, dog in me speaking, but um, a lubricant protectant is is worth having and paying a little extra money for so i'm gonna put this one and like it and we'll check it out in a follow-up video next we've got the one pound propane bottle refill adapter for 9.99 and this one is just like huh okay uh, i you know I, I feel like they were just i get it you could fill up your little propane bottle from your big grill tank but really really no like okay i don't know i might never use this um what is this 9.99 i guess this is the kind of thing that could sit around and i'll poo poo it and say oh really until the one time i decide to use it and then i'll be like oh my god that's awesome but for right now, I'm poo-pooing it and saying, oh, really? Like, this is... Oh, uh, well, okay. Like, if, if I want something, I mean, this is... I'll go to Home Depot for this, <laughs> if a Walmart, but... So now we got one, one, and one. All right, I don't like it. A meh and a like it. I just, I, I, it just blows my mind sometimes how they're sourcing. They're like, this is perfect to go in our box. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. And finally, in the basic box, we have the Cat Tongue Grips Non Abrasive Grip Tape for $19.99. So here's $20 worth of tape. Now, this is deceptive, so I'm going to have to take it out of here so you can see how much tape you actually get. That's how much tape you actually get. It's. Two inches wide by 10 feet long. It feels like a silicone grippy thing. Um, so that's kind of cool. I understand the concept and I kind of like it. Um, $20. I don't know how I feel about the price. I mean, I don't have anything to, to compare it to. But without you guys being able to feel it, think of like it feels like almost like a, like a duct tape. But like a plastic duct tape with a rubberized surface. So you can now make things non-slip. Um, just saying you could you could cut this out and put it on you know the grip on a rifle or a knife or anything else a pull-up bar so that when you're sweaty you have something to grip onto um whatever interesting i i like the the kind of some of the home improvement stuff they put in here i've used a lot of it um that they that they provide sometimes and this i think has potential so i'm gonna put this one and like it i'm gonna experiment with this it really does you just run your finger you know your fingers on it and it and it does grip i wonder if it comes in different colors 
I'm going to have to um, check it out. And I also wonder how strong the grip on it is. So it's like got double, it's like double sided tape almost with the backing. I mean, it's single sided, but it's pretty sticky on the back. And this is how thick it is. And so it doesn't add a whole lot of mass to whatever you're putting it on. Um, I actually think this is pretty cool. I have some things I might use this on right now. I'm putting together a, a backyard playground thing for the boys, and I think this would be great on some of the surfaces, especially Ethan being smaller, you know, help him get a grip climbing up some ladders and stuff for now. Maybe, um, maybe I'm helicoptering a little bit and over pussifying it, but still, cool. I'm going to put this one and like it because I think it has actual applications, um, especially, you know, survival type stuff um, or in an environment where your tools might be getting wet. You know, I don't know. I, I'd have to test out the stickiness to see how well it sticks, but that's cool. All right, so that's everything in the basic. Four items in the basic box with an MSRP value of $67.92. Am I going too fast? I'm going faster lately. Next, we're going to go in the advanced box, which only adds one item, which is the Plano Tactical Pistol Case for $29.99, and it is huge. This is why the box was big and had a little bit of weight to it. It is huge, huge. It's the biggest box, biggest box we've ever seen. And here again is how I get kicked off YouTube and everybody hates me. So, Glock 19 in the box. Holds very securely and it has multiple areas where you can Secure this, lock it up so nobody can get in it. Um, it's, well, if I take this off, made in the USA, we like that. I hope that the grip tape is a little stickier than this stuff, but solid. Um, not Pelican case solid, but it's pretty solid. And of course, you don't have to use this for a pistol. You can use it for securing whatever you want, transporting it. But it is pretty rugged. Now, it doesn't have gaskets, so I can't tell yet the weatherproof qualities of it. Let's see if it tells us that. No, okay, so this isn't like for good outdoor use, I guess. But it says how you do design, holds two pistols and accessories. Um, it would not be too hard to take if you really wanted to make sure it's weatherproof. Take a small glue gun and go around these these areas where they meet, and that's gonna you know small bead of glue, and that's gonna help give you a little bit of weather stripping and uh, make it weatherproof. Um, nice box. I'm gonna use it for different things because I don't need a pistol case, but I like the fact that you can securely protect things in there. Um. I guess $29.99 is okay. I feel like if it was not specifically designed for firearms, it would be a little bit cheaper. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put this one in and I like it. Just because I have uses for it. Lots of things I can think of that I would want to store in there. Um, if you wanna, if you, I'm just saying, cause you know, I'm a knife guy. If you've got a knife collection and, and me and a friend or two are always doing this, wanting to say like, hey, look at the new stuff I got. That will also still store in there pretty securely and be held. So, you know, think outside the box, just because it says guns doesn't mean it has to be guns. And the fluff is removable, so you could take other kinds of foam and adjust how much space you have inside. Cool. And that's our whole advanced box. That's it. And that brings our whole MSRP value up to $97.91. We're going to go into the Pro Box where we get two different things. No, we get one thing on two lines. All right. So these things are always a bit contentious with people. Bluetooth speakers. First of all, designed in Southern Utah. Okay, so if it's saying designed in Southern Utah, you can bet it's not made in Southern Utah. Um, I'm trying to find where it says made in China, but I almost, well, I don't know. We'll find out. 
Um, hybrid Light makes some really cool stuff though, actually. I've got some Hybrid Light products, some inflatable lanterns by them, and they're pretty good quality. Pretty sure they're made in China, but still. Hybrid Light makes stuff that doesn't want to come out of the box. Let's open the other side. I've not seen this product from them at all. So it's a, let's see, got instructions. We've got some little instructions. So it's got a, a micro SD card reader. So I guess it can, um, it can play, you know, your micro SD cards as well. If you got stuff on them, I don't have a micro SD card right now. I, I, I can't test that, but we've got all of our modes. We've got power. Any power in this thing right now or no? Oh, the little flashlight works. 400 lumen light and flashlight. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's your flashlight as opposed to your little lantern light. Can you turn off? Okay, I want you to turn off. Of course. Bluetooth. Thank you. Turn off, please. Ah, I was pressing the wrong button. So, little leafy button is for the light, lantern, flashlight, and then I wonder, I'm, I'm just wondering. But no, it is so Here's me talking wow -tack kind of a, a through this, to through night. So basically you've got a through night flashlight. you know, to avoid any kind of copyright stuff. I'm just playing one of my videos. Um, they offer to send Decent quality audio, quality audio, not quality talking from me, obviously. So and if you take a look, volume is pretty good. Um, Oh, hey guys, I'm back. that just, uh, wow, fast forwarding back and forth through videos. Nice. I don't know how you do volume on this, but. 650 lumens, unless you're trying to burn down a forest. Cool. And then mode. It has. I guess we're listening for ghosts now. I'll kill you. What? Oh, did you hear the EVP? Yeah, okay. Auxiliary. And then you can plug in, or you can put your, your card in. All right, nifty. Um, Bluetooth. And then we're back to Bluetooth. Kind of cool. Um, I don't know how we make the volume go up and down. Maybe hold? Get yep. Inside the box. Hold these Please. things down. All right, so you get kind of full controllability. Before use. Okay. So inside the box, we have the light. We have. A this is like Inception. I'm I'm in the video. In the video. We have. All right, and we can pause it. All right, let's uh, turn it off. All right, nifty, and it can. Uh, you can plug it in with USB. You can also use it as a power bank. So it's got its solar panel. Uh, you can charge things from it and charge it from the wall. So let's see, what are they saying this thing costs? And by the way, if you didn't see, we got that. $66.95. All right, I am not cool with the price. I'm sure we can find something similar. Now, wait a minute, I didn't see, is it weatherproof? Can we take it outside? I mean, I'm thinking if it's solar, it should be. Yeah, I mean, it's got, it's sealed up. It should be able to withstand at least, rain, although I don't know about the speaker. And then it's got a little handle here. You can carry it, you can hang it up, you know, with your little lantern in a tent to play music. It's cool. The price, I think we could probably find something um, very similar for less money. Um, I think I'll put it in meh, just for, the, just for the cost factor though. I mean, it's a cool device, it works. I do like it. But 70 bucks, I think I think we can probably find it for less. You know what I mean? If we if we actually go looking for it. So that's why. Okay, so let's move on to the best time. How did things get so skewed? Let's move on to oh, I'm sorry. So that brings our MSRP value to 164.86. Let's move on to my favorite part of the whole video, the Pro Plus. The only difference between all this and that is the knife of the month. So we've got an $85 MSRP on the knife of the month, the Williamson Tactical Red E Axis Lock Folding Knife. All right, so clear something up right now. No, it is not theft to use the Axis Lock. The Axis Lock patent was up years ago, which means it can be used 
Um, a lot of companies that use the name Access Lock, if they're gonna use the name Access, they actually have to license it through Benchmade. They can call it all sorts of other stuff if they want, um, but to use the actual physical mechanics of the Access Lock is not stealing, it, the patent is up. Um, to call it Access, as opposed to some other kind of lock though, they have, actually have to license that from Benchmade. So we got that done. So in this box, um, magnetically sealed, does it have a made in? Made in PRC. Oh, see, now they're getting slick. Are they thinking that we're not going to know that PRC is the People's Republic of China? But okay. So, you guys reading all that? Okay. Uh, we've got a limited lifetime warranty in the box. We've got two do not eats, because two do not eats are better than one. Looks like we've got an extra screw. We've got a little Williamson Copenhagen patch. And I feel like there should be, oh, there's an extra clip here. Or is it no clip and we have to put the clip on? We'll find out. Oh, no, there is a clip. Okay. Some super aggressive G10. Wow. That's got grip. And... It's got some weight to it also. You've got what feels and looks like a powder coat based on the way my fingerprints are smudging up the blade. Um, so clip can be moved for right side or left side, but it is tip up only and I guess you can switch the clip that doesn't say red E if you want, or you can be like really cool and put two clips on at once, um, if that's what you want to do. So you've got these G10 overlays. Oh, that's nice. Sweet action right out of the box. Most bench maids that are Axis, you gotta break in when you get it out of the box. Let's take an overall look at the knife. The smudge marks are killing me, but I did that myself. Uh, it is a small, I mean, it is an EDC size knife. God damn it. Um, it's comfortable. It's a very comfortable little shape. I like it um, more so than some of the other knife of the month knives of the month we've gotten lately. Um, I think mine is just a little bit off center, but that's okay. We can fix that easily probably. Very smooth. Looking in there, I I can't quite tell if it's if it's bearings or if it's uh I'm I'm being overly careful because it's so small to access lock it closed. But man, it comes ready to go. Little little small again. I keep saying that little small. I'm gonna have to get used to it. I'm used to a larger um, knife in my hand. But great jimping on the uh, metal backspacer there. We've got some pretty good jimping up on, well, what we'll call a thumb ramp. It's really the spine of the blade. And it does have a very characteristic Williamson look to it, which is awesome. The, man, the grip factor on this G10 is unreal. I mean, there's no way this is going anywhere in your hand. Um, really do like this little knife. Very nice. Wet knife wash. I cleaned the blade off while I got some cut stuff. I couldn't stand those fingerprints. But, uh, come here, short blade. Damn, small blades always get me. There we go. Pretty good. A little bit of uh, force required on the pull through, but not bad. And a slice. Oh, screw that up. Slice. Not bad. Not the cleanest cut in the world, but not bad. Um, centering, we already kind of looked at. Lock up on an axis lock, at, obviously, is not the same as any other knife, but, um, you know, so we won't be doing the lock test because, well, I guess we could. We could anyway. And, of course, no messing with our access lock. Centering has not changed at all. And it's still very smooth. 
I like this little guy. I really do like this little guy. $85 D2 blade. So the D2 haters are going to come out and you know what? That's okay. People either, I, I don't know anybody that just has like eh, D2. You either really like D2 or you don't like D2. I like D2. I think that when, um, finished well, it's a great, it's a great, um, knife steel. I don't know if I'd pick it for an EDC type blade. I think I'd, I'd want something stainless, especially if it's going to be in a pocket a lot, which does get humid and everything. Um, but it's it's not a bad steel, you know. I do have some concerns about pocket wear, though, with this super aggressive G10. The clip is is pretty springy and pretty forgiving, but this rubbing on the on the insides of the fabric of your pocket, especially the lip of the pocket coming in and out. Um, that's, I mean, that it is really super aggressive texturing on the G10, but I like it. I like the knife of the month. I'm glad. Uh, I've been a little disappointed um, lately. There's even jibbing on the choil over there, by the way, to help you really get a grip, that two finger lock in effect. So awesome. We're happy with the knife of the month. At least I am. What about you guys? You know, what do you guys have to say? Um... I do recognize that that propane adapter thing probably does have some uses, um, but uh, you know, I just, I, there are some things I feel like, yeah, battle box item. That's not one of them. I just don't feel like that's one of them. Although I guess, you know, if you really want to think it over in, in a real survival situation, you know, you've got your little traveling bottle and you know, you're out of gas and you come upon a big tank somewhere, you could refill it. But that's, uh, Okay, it is what it is. Uh, I really like the stuff I really like. As usual, the things I like, I usually really like. The meh, like, you know, mm, could take it or leave it. Um, I'm upset with the price over this. I'm going to do some looking, seeing what I can find it for. And the mag pouch is okay, but, I, you know, we, I've just seen better versions that do the same thing. Um, so, what are your thoughts? Very anxious to hear what you guys think of everything in here. And one more time, remember... If you do like BattleBox, you're interested in BattleBox, check out that referral code in the video description. Um, you know, I'm going to keep doing that until we hit 100k subscribers. If we end up getting three or four knives out of it, great. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But I definitely want to at least get the two. Um, so, we got two really awesome things to give away. And with that, I'm going to move on to the Smoky Mountain Army Care Package courtesy of our awesome Patreon supporter, Jason. So, as I get set up for that, please remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.